Happy Earth Day, citizens of the world. Do you really know what Earth Day is all about? You will, soon enough. And the day is much younger than I would have thought. Like, about a century younger. The following is from the EarthDay.org site, giving the history. Senator Gaylord Nelson, the junior senator from Wisconsin, had long been concerned about the deteriorating environment in the United States. Then, in January 1969, he and many others witnessed the ravages of a massive oil spill in Santa Barbara, California. Inspired by the student anti-war movement, Senator Nelson wanted to infuse the energy of student anti-war protests with an emerging public consciousness about air and water pollution. Senator Nelson announced the idea for a teach-in on college campuses to the national media and persuaded Pete McCloskey, a conservation-minded Republican congressman, to serve as his co-chair. Senator Nelson then recruited Dennis Hayes, a young activist, to organize the campus teach-ins and to scale the idea to a broader public. And they chose April 22nd, a weekday falling between spring break and final exams, to maximize the greatest student participation. Recognizing its potential to inspire all Americans, Hayes built a national staff of 85 to promote events across the land, and the effort soon broadened to include a wide range of organizations, faith groups, and others. They changed the name to Earth Day, which immediately sparked national media attention and caught on across the country. Earth Day inspired 20 million Americans at the time 10% of the total population of the United States, to take to the streets, parks, and auditoriums to demonstrate against the impacts of 150 years of industrial development, which had left a growing legacy of serious human health impacts. Almanac.com has a five-question quiz about the day. Let's see how you do. Number one, how much of the plastic that we discard every day is recycled. Number two, what is one way to leave our soil and farmland in better shape than we found it? Number three, how much time in nature allows the average person to feel an improvement in physical and mental well-being? Not exactly sure what that question means, but I think it means how much time does the average person need to spend in nature to feel that improvement? I'm going to go with that. Number four, how do bees collect from flowers? And number five, how much edible food is wasted? Find out the answers in the description box below this video. So, how can you let Mother Nature know how much you value and appreciate her? Here are a few simple ways to commemorate the occasion. Choose one as your tiny task for the day. Plant a tree, or at least some flowers. Pick up trash. Recycle. Make a bird feeder. Donate old clothes. And my top suggestion, go outside and take in the beauty that's all around you. Nature truly is glorious and miraculous. Wishing you all a sunny Earth Day. Chetty, stay some, everyone. Tuta.